I started with piano lessons when I was eight years old, and um, I did that for a little while, and then wrote some songs actually when I was really young, songs that are terrible, not really into them anymore so much. But uh, I started really, I learned guitar when I was 15, and then that's when I just started playing all the time and just recording albums, doing whatever I could, playing in bands. It, I kind of can't really stick with one genre. I just kind of get bored. Uh, when I first started, I was doing like, I was listening to Jack Johnson and Jason Mraz and stuff like that all the time, just just boy pop and stuff like that. And that's when I got really obsessed with Bob Dylan and started playing folk music all the time. And and uh, I did uh, I did some rock and roll bands and stuff like that, some psychedelic music. Uh, I had a bluegrass band for a little while, and then uh, I don't know. It, one day, is my good friend Daniel Sion, you know him too. He uh, played me played me Skrillex for the first time, and the first time I heard dubstep, it was just like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> and then after after maybe four or five days of just listening to these tracks, it was like, "Okay, I want I want to make these sounds. I want to try something like this." And I I really like it just because it opens up the canvas so much. There's mm -hmm. so much you can do. You can make any synthesizer sound any way you want, and it doesn't really matter. The, the rules of music don't really apply anymore. You can do whatever the hell you want, and that's what's so exciting about it to me. So you just moved from Reno to Portland. Yes. What made you make that decision, and how are you doing uh, Well, in, in Reno, I, I didn't have a problem with the music scene or anything like that. I just had zero motivation to try there anymore, you know? I, uh, I felt that I spent so many years just trying to put my music out there within that scene, and it just didn't work out for me so well. And, I just kind of wanted to come to a place that was a bigger town, more opportunities, and it's been really great so far. I've already had an article in uh, Warped Magazine. They did a short interview with me and printed me up in that. Uh, I did a show at the Guild Public House and met some really great people down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, everybody's been really great out here. It's it's a really thriving music scene, so that's really exciting to mm -hmm. me. I'm on Facebook under Joe Little. Uh, the URL is a little messed up because there's all these numbers on there, but if you search Musician Band under Joe Little, you can go and like my page and stay up to date on whatever shows I'm playing. Um, you can also visit soundcloud.com slash jlittle0, and there's eight tracks on there. Um, one of them, the newest, latest track I've put on there is the beginning of a concept album I'm working on. I'm hoping to have that released by the fall. It's just a, it's just a short story I wrote, and I'm just like writing a bunch of songs to put it all together. I synthesize all the beats myself, and uh, once I get a better computer, I'll have more of a DJing setup. But I just like to do everything I can live. <laughs> Yes, you're such a 